We're back again with the same polo, but we're going to take this rear bar off. 2017 model. There we go. So, first of all, I'll show you what I'm going to use for this to take this bumper off. Is a 20 Torx little bit there, the bit holder, quarter inch ratchet with an extension. Also, I'll show you a torch so you can see where, where we're at and where the bolts are fixed. Come round to the side of the car. And if we look up, we've got 120 Torx in that direction, up, upwards up there. It's a little bit hidden from the um, splash guard. So I'll take that one out. It's fixed from the quarter panel to the bar. Yep, there it is. Returning that. Then you want to release, release that once it comes out. Alright, then we've got two down the side. One there and one underneath here. Because of the pre-accident condition, it's pushed it out of the bolt, bolt, bolt section itself already. So, I removed the extension lead. Just get your bit holder and uh, anti-clockwise turn to the, to the left. And this one, I'll probably move this, the guard liner to the left and, and take that one out. So when refit, it'll be easier to put him back in the correct position. Right, so I'll show you up here. It's, it, it's all held on by a bumper bracket, which is behind. Slowly just push it out of the clips. And then what I like to do on the top here is grab a pry bar and push these inserts downwards and pull the bar towards us with the tailgate open. We, late, we earlier took off the, the lamps, which you can see in one of our previous videos. Right, there you go, that's enough for release. And we want to come around to the other side and do exactly the same. First of all, I like to put my bolts and my screws all in a bag safely for refit so you don't lose them. Generally, you want to name the, name the bag so you know where all your bits go. Come around to the other side. Same again with this one, you might be able to see, see more where the bolt is actually situated. You come right. Alright, your 20, 20 torque screw there. I'm gonna extricate that one. Remove that. Store it in your bag. And then jump on the, the, the bottom two that hold the bar in place. So anti-clockwise, undo your 20 torque screw again. Happy days. Right, we come underneath now. And we got one clip in the center. And the rest of them are 20 torque screws, which is one there, one further along, one clip in the middle, and the same procedure on the other side. We're about to take them all out. Just a second before I sort out my tools. All right, tools are ready, but we'll, we'll take these uh, screws out underneath.
Another one there, that's two. And with a trim tool I've got here, you want to get the centre of this clip, which looks like a rivet but it isn't, it's a plastic clip, slide in the middle of it, get right deep into it and just ease it downwards. Once it comes out enough, you get behind the main section and that'll pop out. Store that in your bag as well. And we move along now to get the others. And what's left this side is one, two more. Easy to do at home for any of you viewers watching at home. Right. Make sure you store all your nut, all your uh, screws in your bag ready for refit. We're going to come up to the top of the bar and like we did on the other side, gently pry your bumper off this bracket. And the same with this side, you want to give that under a little bit of tension and give that a little pull. Okay, so... Right, just gently remove that and then you might want to grab your your colleague or your friend or your, your wife or husband at home and, and easily just pull this off. What you'll see now is on this camera, it's got a camera for your rear parking sensors or just a, just a camera in general. It's got two plugs here. This one you want to push down and pull. That comes out. So just push that section there. This one here. Same again, you've got this white thing here and you can hear it click, pull that out. Now we've got the number plate lights, which if you have a look inside, similar to the lamps, it's got this red, red clip that you push forward, not too much. As soon as it gets to that point there, in the center, you push that down and pull it. Same again with this side. Red clip, half a centimetre to its left, push the centre clip down, and that's for it. Now we we'll store this, you can have the whole thing. Right now, store this in a nice place. We've got a rack here, store it out there. And have a complete job ready. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe our videos, and you'll see more content in the future. See you later. Have a great day.